There he is. Werner, good to see you. <laughs> Welcome. It's been a while. <laughs> it has been a while. Welcome. Ready to build some fort? I'm ready. How was the journey? It was a long trek. Yeah. But we had good weather. <laughs> yeah, it's grand, eh? It's beautiful. Well, we got our work cut out for us. I'm ready for it. All right, it. cup Let's of coffee first. Sure. Let's have a cup of coffee. So Werner's been here for um, two days now, right, Werner? And and look what we've got accomplished. Uh, somebody said in comments that we should get a team of oxen. Well, we don't need them. We got Werner. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then another guy said we need a mule, and I wouldn't want to call you an ass, but <laughs> we got Werner. So so that's working out really well. We had a fellow from Ohio, Scott or Stephen, and his son Ian came a couple of weeks ago. Uh, got a good friend coming uh, about a month from now and a fellow coming from Philadelphia for four days so help is gradually trickling in and we're, it's we're really working getting out. it down so so you've ever built a fort before I haven't <laughs> I haven't I have <laughs> good yep. for yeah when I was 10 years old I built a fort out of goldenrod nice yeah and I I spent days cutting it and I took binder twine from the barn and I wrapped it all up and I built walls and I built a kind of a hut inside and I remember asking my mom if I could go camp out in it. It was in, built in the bush, and she said, yeah, but it's going to rain tonight. I said, that's okay, i got a roof over my head. So anyway, it did rain, a deluge of rain, and my roof didn't keep out much water. So I decided this time around I'm going to build a proper fort. And uh, you sure are contributing to it. It's going to be a landmark. And we got Sue here, and she's cooking up a traditional, I don't know where Sue is. I can never find that girl. She's... She's been working away cleaning up stuff, and now she's preparing a meal for us. So I can smell it. Ah, fish. A fish stew. Fish stew. Looking forward to that. Anyway, shall we see if we get a couple more up? Yes, we will. It'd be nice if today, kind of an objective, if, if we could tie that into that block house, that'd just be grand. Look forward to it. Shall we get at it? Let's right. go. <laughs> You know, Werner, when I'm doing that, I need somebody on that side helping me. You're doing it all by your lonesome. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like this job. <laughs> Look at that fit, eh? Yeah, bottom's got to come in. A little more. That is right there, right there. Perfect. Before I forget, when I'm talking about people here helping and contributing, I got to mention Ryan. I have to mention Ryan, my fr good friend Ryan, on almost every one of these episodes because he has certainly contributed to um, Kelly's station. 
and uh, he was here for part of the day yesterday and he brought along his young son Luke there and Luke well he kicked right in too he was peeling logs and trying to keep logs ahead of us so and uh, anyway a shout out to them and also some guy wrote in because at the start I'd peeled all these things at the butt end and cedar has a lot of taper to it and I'm a darn fool because <laughs> if I'd have kept putting the butts down and the tops up I'd either have these huge gaps at the top or I'd have a fence that did something like this so he wrote in and said, why don't you alternate the logs? So that's what we've been doing for the most part. Um, top down, bottom up, bottom up, top down, and it's working quite well. Goodness gracious, Sue, what the heck have you done? What seems to be the problem? It smells exquisite in here. Oh. What the well, heck? What the heck? What do you got going here? Great. It's some fish stew for the workers. Man, does that smell good? And your workers are hungry. 
all just going to give it a little bit of a stir up here. You know, just realized, Sue, that I always do a little wee bit of history and I realized I haven't done one today. And I got thinking about fish. And we think about uh, our ancestors like living high on the hog and living high on beef and hunting moose and deer. Well, sometimes that wasn't available, but what was always available was fish. And the historical records show that, you know, when our ancestors arrive here in the North American continent, that the streams, you can literally walk across them for fish. So it was always a staple food. It was something that was traded, bartered. Um, they'd salt it to preserve it for three or four weeks. Uh, or they'd smoke it. They'd, um, yeah, eat it in any manner of ways. So this is going to be really good. Well, it's in abundance. Let's give it a little bit more of a stir here. Maybe you need somebody to sample it. Well, if you want to take a gander. What do you think? Let me get some here. Uh -huh. A little bit warm. Very just. <laughs> That's good. That's great. Mm -hmm. yeah, Always great so to good. hear. So good. It's been simmering over the fire for a while. Should I go get the troops? I think that's a great idea. I better finish this. Oh. We'd want to put that back in. <laughs> mm. Great. Thanks, Sue. Glad it's got your approval. Oh, yeah. And some.